Welcome to DARE Education Awareness, where you can find the latest news on all DARE County schools, the Coastal Studies Institute, and the College of the Albemarle. We keep you informed, entertained, and up-to-date on education in DARE County. I'm Jack Bagwell, I'm the president of College of the Albemarle, and we are at the 2022 Spring Commencement in Dare County. And this is the first opportunity that we've had to do a commencement or really any activity, academic activity, in the new building. We had a wonderful group of graduates that just came through the line. We got a chance to give them the diplomas, take some pictures, celebrate with their families, and wish them Godspeed on their journey. This year's a little different like every year that I've been at COA. We had a walk through graduation, but you know, it really has been special. One of our graduates had their baby in their arms and another had a twin sister that she was able to take pictures with. So we are trying to make sure that we uh, continue to have community and family in our graduation ceremonies while still staying safe. So this is the culminating event, a graduation ceremony is what everybody's looking toward when they enroll at COA. But what we want folks to know is that these students saw the future, they saw themselves in a different circumstance. And at COA, we believe you can transform your tomorrow, but you've got to get started today. And if you want to learn more about COA, we hope that these students will be inspiration to you because when people ride by this fancy, beautiful new campus, we don't want them to think that's for the students, somebody else, the other. It's for you, it's for your family, it's for everyone. So call us, call our admissions office, and we'd be glad to have you enroll at the college and be walking across the stage in a few semesters as you transform your tomorrow. LEGO League has been fantastic. It has brought so many of our kids out of their shells who don't really have the athletic ability or want to be on the stage, but they've gotten a chance to really learn how to work together and have that productive struggle that some kids have missed due to COVID and just everything that's been going on. So being able to have the kids in the same space with other kids from different grade levels across third, fourth, and fifth has been really awesome to see all these kids working together to make something happen. It's been funded by the North Carolina Digital Learning Grant. That grant allowed us to have teachers and students after school working with Legos. We started with the Cargo Connects sets, which is why everything is centered around cargo, teaching the kids from a real life setting how it is transported all over the world. I really loved LEGO League because you got to use your imagination a lot and you got to practice your building skills and they taught you how to do engineering. We had a lot of teamwork and, and you practice how to use your teamwork and cooperate with people better. We used the iPad to program our stuff and I think it was cargo so we thought of ideas to make it a little faster and easier and better for the environment. Those Legos gave us a chance to work with STEAM and STEM related concepts where the kids could collaborate together in small groups and build, innovate, build again, do all kinds of things with Legos. 
As part of this grant, we also encouraged teachers to come in and look at what the kids were doing. This was an excellent opportunity to kick off coaching cycles where the teachers could see in action what the kids were doing, how they worked together, how they were able to innovate and come up with new designs, new thinking that would lead to community involvement. Students collaborating together was kind of a difficult thing. It took us a while to get a handle on how to get groups to work together, how to get students who were not used to speaking up, even in a small group, to say, hey, my idea is worth listening to. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. There were some disagreements. People said planes, people said trucks. We talked about like how it would help and we came to a helicopter. It would transport cargo, like, like lift off and get into the sky to transport anywhere. It would be quick. We also talked about ways where maybe the yacht builders surfboard builders. All those people create products here on the Outer Banks and then transport them all over the world. And we started looking at innovative ways that coding is used. Coding robots. How does Amazon deliver packages? What are some ways some of that delivery options might have to change as people expect things to be delivered right to their doorstep? Will it be a drone in the future? Will it be one of these students maybe operating those drones? Those are all kinds of things that we thought about, developed programs that worked around those kids thinking, and then let them be creative. It was really cool to move them around without like touching them. I really enjoyed how to code things. I think LEGO League was important because it allows people to work together, become new friends, and maybe you've met someone you've never met before and you can become really good friends. LEGOs and building can just let you see what other people think. It's like you can, you can express how you feel. They thought it was just going to be after school playing with LEGOs, but Lego as a whole is so much more than that now. There's coding and robotics. Anybody can buy from Lego that allows them to take just the, the plain old bricks and really turn it into something bigger and make it an even greater educational opportunity that's not just imaginative play. I think it's a great way for you to learn about the world because you can, you can see Legos and you can build a model. So many things can be done with Legos. I watched this video of a guy who built an entire house out of Legos.